where we're going to be walking through how you can test your tasks within Airflow 2.x. And this is a great feature because it allows you to debug much more quickly than you would otherwise. And so the way you do it is as follows. I have this little example DAG here where um, I have one little Python operator and its job is to print hello world as a test. And I have my DAG ID as vs-test DAG. And then I have uh, the hello world task defined with the task ID hello. And so if I wanted to actually test this DAG, the way I would do it is as follows. So um, I'm running a Docker container, so I need to actually go into the interactive terminal for that specific container running the Airflow server. Um, and so in this case, I'm gonna run the command Docker PS, and I'm gonna look for where in here it tells me the Docker, or the container ID for my web server, which is this one right here that I'm just gonna copy. And then the next command I execute is going to be docker exec dash it for interactive terminal. And then you're gonna paste in that container ID and then forward slash bin forward slash bash. And then this is going to put you inside of your actual Airflow container uh, in Docker. And so what you can do now is you can actually make use of the Airflow command line as follows. So if you just type in Airflow, it'll return back a bunch of stuff for help messages and things. But in our case, we want to test the actual task that we created. So in this case, if I ran the command airflow task, sorry, tasks test, and then your DAG ID, and then your task ID. So in this case, my DAG ID is vs-test-dag. And then my task ID I want to test is hello. And then you put in an execution date. If you put this execution date in the past, we'll make it test it right now, which is a better way to do it. So I'll say 2021.01.01. And then when I hit enter, what's gonna happen next is it's gonna actually test my DAG uh, and my task ID inside of that DAG specifically. And what we see are the following. So we're getting that little print statement that we expected the hello world from our uh, task ID that we defined inside of this tag. So that's how you test things before you start playing around with the Airflow UI. It's much faster to do it this way through the command line. Hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and take care.